Coach, I know it's been a while, but uh, maybe describe the locker room and kind of the sensation of, you know, getting a good one in the win column tonight. Yeah, just a happy locker room. We're going to continue to talk about that. And for our guys, man, just being able to experience a win and being able to, to feel good, again, could not be more proud of man, our togetherness, uh, the team that we are creating, the foundation that's being built. And so for those guys, uh, being able to feel victory is, is important. So proud of that. When you think at you know the losing streak that you've been under, when you have the kind of struggles you did coming out, it could have unraveled there, but your guys were able to collect themselves and they scored 35 straight points. What, what was kind of the message to the team after going down, and what did you think of how they came back and uh, asserted their will there? Well, it's certainly proud of how we came back, and you know obviously the way we started was not. Uh, you know, not what we wanted at all on both sides of the football. And then uh, I was. I was incredibly proud of just our guys continuing to play the next play and finding a way to create some momentum and then being able to keep momentum. We've talked a ton about that. Momentum is a huge player in this game. And when you got a chance to create it, you got to find ways to keep it. And so uh, we've got to continue to find ways to do that. Off of that, the, the running game really started to explode a little bit in the late first half and then the second half. Do you, anything you saw before watching the film that changed there? You know, I, I think we we did. I thought we finished in better body positions uh, in the core at the line of scrimmage, and that gives those backs a chance to, you know, run through trash, creating some space for those guys. And I thought our guys did a pretty good job of winning some one-on-ones. And that was, to me, that's the difference. Instead of, you know, gaining four, you have the ability to run through some trash and gain 11. Now you start creating some chunks and you start leaning on people and you got a chance to again keep the momentum in the run game kind of similar to Robbie's question but you talked about earlier in the week about how some of the in-game adjustments when you have those meetings on the sideline weren't always translating onto the field um, but today you know after falling down 10-0 what, what maybe were some of those adjustments that were made and, and how do you think it worked yeah I think for us defensively it was you know early on we we did we had a couple of issues up front uh, from a movement standpoint that we get corrected, we get fixed, and then guys have the ability to go execute and then just play the next play uh, because that's the only play that you have. And so, that's again, that's probably what I'm most proud of is guys finding a way to not be too down on themselves, us finding ways to coach with confidence in the moment when things aren't well, uh, and our guys answering the bell and, and being able to go get off the field. On the defensive side, those those first couple of drives, they were having all kinds of success running the ball, and then you were able to sort of put the clamps down on them. What changed and uh, what adjustments on, on specifically on defense led to sort of that, that turnaround yes, on defense? Yes, similar to, to that last answer. Just, again, early on, those first two series we did, we had some issues with uh, some, some missed assignments and had the ability to get those cleaned up and guys fitting it the right way and, and going and executing and then getting guys on the ground. Hey, Jeff, uh, after the Arkansas game, you had mentioned that the three games prior to that, you guys took a step forward, and the Arkansas one, you, you took a step back. Today, uh, you, you were talking about your guys, you know, obviously uh, not getting too down on themselves and being proud of that. How specifically did you see your team take a step forward from a, you know, football aspect tonight? Yeah, I think, you know, for the first time in a long time, we go in at halftime and we have the lead and we find ways to go. Uh, finish the game and, and that we haven't been in that situation so for me that was really good to see uh, our mentality coming out at half uh, the way we played defensively in the second half uh, is a really good thing to be able to go build on and, and again for us like, that's something that hadn't happened for us a lot and so building on those moments will be important coach you're starting the second quarter down a couple of scores and you would moved the ball once but you got a third and ten Michael hits Kevin Coleman coming in a crossing pattern there. It was just a case of going to your two best players in offense, go make a play and get this something going. Yeah, we felt good about some of the stuff that we had designed in the middle of the field with a matchup and, and wanted to give Kev the ability to go to go make a play in that moment to, to be able to create some momentum for sure. Coach, a lot of times uh, on these kickoff returns, you guys fair catch them or you know, take them for touchbacks. But tonight, you elected to bring a couple out. I mean, is it kind of predetermined? Is there something that you see on film? Kind of what's your philosophy about that? And maybe what, what's tonight a little different? Yeah, from a philosophical standpoint, it's going to change every single week. It's what we're seeing on the other side of it. Uh, what gives us the best opportunity to ensure we've got the best field position possible. And so tonight we felt like we had the ability with you know some of the kicks that we had a chance to receive to be able to bring them out and put us at a, in a really good place. So that will constantly change. There's constant communication and conversation inside a game uh, as we make those decisions before every return. 
you've mentioned, you know, having to, you know, constantly coaching Mike and trying to get better and better there. How, how much have you seen him improve from the running game and the running aspect of things? I know the, the numbers might not bear it out tonight because of sacks, but it just seemed like a little more intentional on in the run game for yeah, him, he, too. He did some really good things. I thought he did a nice job of winning some one-on-ones uh, when he got in, in grass and got in some open space, which was really good to see. Made some good decisions down uh, inside the five-yard line to be able to go in and, and, and score with his legs. So we're going to continue to need that. You got like you have to have the ability to play 11 on 11 at times. That's who we're going to forever be, uh, situationally for sure. And, and he's gotten better and better. Uh, still saw some issues, especially early on with pass protection. Uh, looked like Mike was taking quite a few hits. Um, what, do, what have you seen from the offensive line here, and you know how can they continue to uh, work on that? Yeah, you know it was actually it was it was both the, the offensive line at times, and it's Mike moving when he doesn't have to. It's Mike having the ability to climb in the pocket when the pocket's firm and the edge is is soft. So continuing to see that for him, and I, I think to you know the the. Fans eye, you watch and you get upset at the O line, and, and that's natural. But at the end of the day, we've got to do a great job in the pocket, manipulating the pocket, and finding soft spots uh, to make sure we're not putting them in a bad position. Coach, on the flip side, on, on defense, how satisfying was it to see your guys getting in the backfield for a couple of sacks today? We, we needed some, we needed to create some negative plays. Um, and that happened today. We needed that. Uh, they've been few and far between. So for us to be able to do that, uh, was huge. We've got to be able to build on that. And that is, man, that's a huge thing moving forward. Robbie was asking you about uh, Mike and his improvement in the ground game. But just uh, as you're about to go back on the road, last time you were on the road, you had a first time starting quarterback. And yeah. now he's got all this experience under his belt. Just maybe from a preparation and just uh, everything that he's done over the course of the last month and a half standpoint, how do you have a, a different quarterback maybe now than you had a month and a half ago? Yeah, I think we're freed up a little bit and, and not having to protect him as much as we did when we went on the road to Austin. And, and I think we all understand, especially me, exactly who we have and what, uh, man, what I can expect. And, and we talk about predictable outcomes, feel really good about being able to go call a play and know what's going to happen. Uh, before I call it. And so he's done a good job of that. We've got to take care of the football as we finish this thing out. That will be huge for us next weekend. Um, but again, I do. I think we've got the ability to, to call it and coach a, l a little more freely because we know who we've got. Go to Steve, and we'll close out with John in the back. Coach, if memory serves me correct, you've had the ball first all nine games this year, no matter who wins the toss. I mean, you know, I know it's just kind of the luck of the draw, but. Uh, is that kind of how you want to start them? I and do you like going on offense first and giving the opportunity? Yeah, it, it really is different every single week. You know, last week it was the first time I believe we had won the toss all year and then ended up taking the football. So um, that is uh, how I, I want to start, but won't be that way every single week. Again, depending on who we're playing and what the situation is. Are we at home? Are we away? So what the weather's like, that'll change every single week. Jeff, uh, you've talked about kind of building this thing and, and, you know, the guys getting better and growing. But what about, like, for you, um, how have you kind of learned in your first year, you know, being a head coach? What have you kind of learned along the way? How much more comfortable have you gotten? And uh, what has this, you know, learning experience been like for you this season? Yeah, it's, it's been a ton of learning. And for me, I continue to talk about our guys living experience, you know, and, and finding ways to, to create that form for me. Uh, I'm, I'm a lot more comfortable today than I was day one just from the standpoint of being able to go call it on the field and having great confidence in what I'm seeing. Uh, and that, that is, there's been great growth in that. Um, the game management part, I, I feel like has been pretty clean. Uh, so felt good about that. For me, it was just calling the game from the sideline when over the last and however long, you know, I was always up. And I do, I feel really, really comfortable with, with where I'm at right now. All right. Appreciate, Appreciate it. Thanks. Thank <clears throat> you.